Hey, I wanted to make this quick video to show you how to use the zoom options on your Sony 4K projector. The 4K projectors come with an option called 185 zoom and 235 zoom found in the menu here. Aspect 185 zoom and 235 zoom. So if you notice on the edges of the screen, it transitions from the actual edge of the screen to another, uh, it's like a, from a black to a grayish bar to the actual image, if you can see that. The grayish part in between the black and the actual image are the additional pixels that the projector has that go unused. So instead of actually zooming the image all the way in, you would zoom this 235 image from Infinity War using these lines here and I'll show you that really quick so that's just quickly done roughly we get out of there so as you can see I've zoomed it based on the lines, but the image is still not meeting the edge of the screen on the top or the bottom. So now you can go in and take advantage of those ex extra pixels to prevent yourself from over zooming the image in. So on 235 to 1 zoom, it's now taking up that entire image. You're not losing any of the actual picture from the movie, you're just taking advantage of those extra pixels. And if you want, you can turn blanking on, which there's nothing being shown on the top and the bottom, but if you want to adjust your blanking, you can clean that up too. So I just switched to the IMAX version of the same scene, same movie, and so if you're debating on whether you should watch with the image shrunk down, and I'll do that in just a moment, or if you should just keep it in 235 and clip off the IMAX version, the IMAX uh, portions, that's how much information you're losing if you're clipping off the IMAX version. So in order to do that, you would just go in and adjust your blanking to fit your screen, and then turn your blanking on, and boom. So when you're watching a movie that has IMAX, it goes from 235 or 239 or whatever to IMAX scenes, that's how you clip it off without actually even noticing you're missing anything. Now here's the same scene from the IMAX version, zoomed down to not fit the screen, to fit the entire IMAX portion on your screen, but you can see there's a little bit left on the top and the bottom. Now you can because the IMAX is not exactly 16 by 9 image, it's not going to be perfect. But here is what happens when you use the 185 zoom. And it almost reaches the very top and the bottom. So then you can go in and make adjustments to zoom it in to be a little wider if you like. And there you go. And also, this this uh, 325 ES projector does not have lens memory, but it does have a motorized lens. So you can see, you can make the adjustments fairly quick. And if you have a 235 to 1 screen, most of the content you're watching is going to be uh, in that format anyway. So I don't really find myself adjusting it too much. If I'm setting up for a movie, um, I can adjust it down fairly quick. Alright, thanks for watching.